this is like fairly fairly shortly after you arrive. So you land on the planet. You're you're taking an interstellar space bus home. Your name is Kurt. You're you're taking an interstellar space bus home, and you end up on the planet. And uh, basically, you start at the cave, which is a tutorial level where you get the mechanic and you learn how to use it at that time. And it's really simply moving around in the beam. So in the early stages, we really give you time to master the mechanic. And then as you move through, you get to the city and the city is like opens up because it's outside. It's called like the rooftop city. So you're in a cave and then rooftop city. You're outside in the world and uh, it is more hectic. If you want to collect the stars, the stars, like I said, is a, is a currency system. And it's currency system light. You collect the stars, exchange them for items in the, in the dispensers so that you can get extra shields, for example, which is called the life vest. It gives you an extra life. And then you have, you know, bombs and other dynamic items. Plus, the beam itself, the mechanic itself, is, is dynamic because later on you're going to get a slingshot and then you're going to be able to shoot the beam to higher areas that you can't reach so you can jump in and manipulate things far away. So, I mean, we have, like you see, there's a hidden area up in the top. We have a lot of secret areas that you can get more star constellation with. And will there be things where you have to come back later after you the replayability factor and also you know we have achievements and there is achievements where you have to find all the hidden areas so so going back more in that sense I think. So are there any achievements that are as tough as uh, being rearmed on super that was really hard? Ha <laughs> yeah I think playing this game on hard is an achievement. It's a uh, would you say it's a similar difficulty? Yeah I would say that it is uh, definitely the level designers they're 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 brutal. They're unforgiving. Those guys are really good. So you have an infinite amount of lives, but but you restart at certain checkpoints. And we did that because of that retro, I like that, that retro yeah. aspect. Yeah. And it's and it's since the mechanic itself is so unforgiving, I think it, it balances that out. Or I don't know. I say unforgiving, but I don't really. It's not totally unforgiving. It just takes time for you to hunker down. And you know, we ask that of our our players. You know, this is not handed to you. It's something you you need to hunker down with and, and really experience. There is a story in the game, definitely. And it, I mean, we're not revealing too much because we want you to discover it yourself. But you know, like I said, that we have a color code system: yellow, red, and blue. And yellow items you can interact with, and that means some of the robots tell you their story, which ties into the main story. So basically, you've landed on a planet, and you can't get home. You need to catch the bus home, so you need to find the next bus stop that's working. Unfortunately, someone's messing with the communication system. You find out that there's a little ruler that's, yeah, not letting you go home. So, and as you go through, you're going to meet other quirky characters that tell you more of the story behind what, what's happening. Can you tell me about the co-op also? Yeah, it's couch co-op. Uh, so we've gone for a more retro-flavored co-op. Uh, co so right now, as player one, you have two beams in action. And in two-player co-op, each player holds a beam. And you play on one console. So you work together or you mess with each other to have a fun experience throughout the game. And uh, what platforms is the game coming to again? It's cross-platform. So PC, PlayStation, and you know. Uh, D3 Publishing has allowed us to really reach a, a wide wide variety of, of platforms. And we hope that we'll be seen on Mac and, and other platforms as well as we go through. <laughs>